Okay, guys, so if you guys didn't know, Ken spent his birthday in Jamaica. Now, there was rumors going around that he went to Jamaica with the girl that he cheated on De'Ara with. Now, people assumed this because she posted a drink, a pineapple drink, thinking that she was in Jamaica when she actually tagged the company that she got this drink from. And that company is based in Atlanta. I'm guessing at this point, people tried to tag these two together when clearly that wasn't the case because no one knows who Ken actually actually went to Jamaica with. Now, some people are assuming that Diera may have went with him on his birthday trip. Guys, everything Diera does at this point is very calculated. So she posted a photo on TikTok or video. Now that was an old video, but it made it seem like that she was out in Miami the weekend that Ken was in Jamaica. When in reality, that video that she posted on TikTok was actually done about three weeks ago. They try to wait to see if she does a photo dump and you know she's in Jamaica but that didn't happen now Ken's mom did post on her page that she was in Jamaica with him so maybe this was just a mother and son trip and De'Ara didn't go at all what do you guys think about it let me know down in the comment section below but let's get on to this next topic with Deja from the Taylor Girls. Deja recently did a story time on how she almost lost her life in Turks and Caicos. Now you guys can head over to the Taylor Girls channel check out that full video. Now people were really upset with some of the things that Deja had to say about Turks and Caicos. The trip because it just showed me how blessed we are like people really don't have what we have in america in the united states like we have a lot to be grateful for and me traveling and just seeing how people are living how like they don't have malls and stuff that i'm used to they don't have and they don't care about it because it's not something that they've ever grown up with it's not something that they can miss or anything like that so me traveling me traveling over there and just seeing the way they live in there most of their roads weren't paved hey can I come in most of their roads and stuff, yes okay you interrupt my story time most of their roads and stuff wasn't paved it was just a lot to be grateful for they didn't have too many street lights it was a lot of stuff that they didn't have in Turks and Caicos and so for you know us to just go over there and just seeing how things are operating no AC oh my god oh my god no air um a lot of restaurants didn't have no AC they had a lot of fans and stuff going so it was just a very good experience just to see how other people are living um and things like that Forward. Okay, so I'm just going to read some of the comments that people are saying. Someone says, next time you come to Turks, bring your own AC. You on an island, natural here, bro. You doing the most, like your apartment slash Airbnb didn't have AC. And someone says, Turks may not be as advanced as America, but we live a happier, safer, healthier lifestyle. We don't have to worry about racism and kidnapping as much as y'all have to. We aren't the richest of the countries, but we definitely aren't the poorest. Happy to hear you had a great time, though. Now, I'm not going to read all of these through because some of these are really long so you guys can pause and read but you get what people are stating like this person says don't do my country like that tourism is our bread and butter god bless you guys basically stating like look you're going to scare people away from not wanting to come here and this is how my country makes our money through tourism now someone else also states turks and caicos is blessed also so don't come around our country downgrading us we don't need what america has we're good with what we have and grateful for it so guys i can't read all of the comments because i'll be sitting here reading forever because people were actually going in on deja i mean they were doing it in a nice way but they were really upset with what she had to say about the island now she stated that there was no ac in the restaurant some of the roads were unpaved now deja did state that this was their first time out of the country so i'm pretty sure it was kind of like a shock to them to see things different from the way that America was. Now, I have not been to Turks and Caicos, but I have been to the Dominican Republic and also Trinidad and Tobago, which is all in the Caribbean. Now, 
Am I pronouncing that right? Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? Let me know down in the comment section below because I know there's different ways to pronounce it. I really don't think Daisha meant anything by this. I don't think she was trying to be rude. I think she just didn't know anything else. She doesn't know anything else outside of America. So it was different for her. Now, like I stated, I did visit the Dominican Republic and also Trinidad and Tobago. And I actually loved both islands. The food in Trinidad and Tobago was amazing. So yeah, guys, for everybody in the Caribbean, Caribbean, being drop your flags down below because i would love to know where some of you guys are from we love your countries they're absolutely beautiful so anyways let's get on to the next topic with another country in the caribbean which is haiti pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen what's been going on in haiti with the earthquake and everything else going on there i do want to send my prayers to everyone there people who have family there it's just a very sad case last week tina did make some post on instagram regarding this whole situation i decided not to speak on it well now queen's mom miss reva has came back and basically defended everything that tina stated with a video uh, on youtube he's talking about, he talked about it all through the bible about worshiping false idols and gods and idolatry and all of that and so it brings sins it brings curses those are type of sins that god does not especially idolatry when you worship in other gods and that is the truth you know and so you could get mad at the person all you want but what you really need to do is get mad at the word of god because that's what the word of god is speaking now i wasn't going to speak on this but since you brought it to my my channel and i'm on here alive at a restaurant talking about other things and you bought that you know you bought that to my attention or whatever um i'm gonna i'm gonna you know speak on it and stuff you know yeah, he will. He will bring plagues. Thank you, uh, Pain of Purpose. Um, you, you he'll bring plagues, all kind of sorts of uh, uh, plagues and diseases upon people. Any uh, country that goes for the United States of America as well. That goes for uh, uh, Haiti. That goes for uh, China. That goes for any country. Any 50, 50 states. The states. It goes for all the countries. The anybody that put any God before God Himself, the only true and wise God. Hallelujah. You will be cursed with a curse. You know, you're not going to make it in. That's what it's simple as that. And that's the word of God. So that's not Tina saying that. But to say to her, um, you, you you don't talk about my country like that. No, she was simply giving the word of God, saying with the, if you, God will heal your land. That is scripture for that, what she was saying. If if y'all turn from your wicked ways and, 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 and pray and bow down and worship me, I will heal your land. That's scripture. And so to turn around and say that's evil for you to say that because she was saying what the People word of God People were already said. upset with what Tina had to say of course they weren't too happy with what miss reva had to say as well so someone says to tell a people who are suffering that they are being punished because of what they believe in is mean and ungodly that's like saying the people of new orleans deserved hurricane katrina god is not a killer he's a healer he allow you to go through some things but he would never do the work of the devil and for tina to be so biblical and yet trash her own sister publicly there's no god in that so miss reva responds with i'm so sorry you feel that way but no longer can pacify your sin god is holy and he is jealous there is no god beside him so you say in one breath that people can serve who they want and believe in what god other than the true wise god but in the same breath that is ungodly wow and she didn't bash her sister she didn't take kindly to her sister allowing her boyfriend to disrespect her and queen mother and god is not in that either that's family business don't include yourself in it you're not family so kind of confusing is that someone like responding from her account or did she forget to switch accounts and she commented under her mama love account like i don't know but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below